<laughs> I'm a uh, gangster boo, you know, and and R.I.P. to gangster boo. But did you ever have any dealings with with her? Man, did I have dealings with her? That was my home girl. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. I want to ask you about uh, something that uh, <clears throat> here happening recently. Uh, and I don't know if you know him, but you, you, me and you, we met, we, me and you were down in Memphis together. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually was in Tunica, Mississippi, but you got to go through Memphis to get over yeah. there a little hall. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I'm a uh, gangster boo, you know, and, and R.I.P. to gangster boo. But did you ever have any dealings with, with her? Man, did I have dealings with her? That was my home girl. Okay. If you look at the movie I gave you, The Ghetto Streets of Zeke Street, in part two, that's Gangsta Boo at the party. She had all my parties. She went wow. to my party at Pure. She went to my party at, uh, was it Park, Central Park, whatever the club is, it's so many years. And, you know, Gangsta Boo was like, Ken, I didn't know you had it jumping like this. So we had a party, <laughs> right? And, you know, my city loved me. So when I throw a party, like we had, they had to call a fire monster because it was like a concert. Yeah. The club only hold like a thousand people, but it was like twenty thousand people. It was people all on the streets and uh, Gangsta Boo and and uh, 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 what's his name, Bum B and uh, uh, what's the boy name uh, from Mississippi, uh, David Banner. David Banner. All of them was there, you know. So we promoted it just as the Pippin Ken party, but people came because it was a concert and Gangsta Boo and all of them was there. The next party we did was with the Brat and Gangsta Boo. Wow. So all of them come to my party. They all came for free, you know. It was just everybody. Show me love, man. You know, Gangsta Boo was one of those individuals that showed me the most love. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, matter of fact, uh, her, shout out to uh, my homegirl, Smokey. Her and uh, Gangsta Boo, it came together, man. They was just coming, you know, to show me some love. And, uh, you know, she was, uh, she was a, a good person, man. I think I talked to her maybe about two years ago. Somehow we ended up on the phone together. I don't know if she was around somebody and they said Pip and Ken. Mm -hmm. She said, that's my homeboy, but uh, you know, she came to all my parties. She's in the movie, The Ghetto Streets, Executive Street, uh, the CD too. So, you know, I mean, we, yeah, we got, uh, well, we, yeah, I mean, then we was in Atlanta. We used to be together all the time too. Mm -hmm. You know, cause she came down here in Atlanta and she, oh, well, she came down to Atlanta and uh, we hung out a lot, you know, uh, Smokey, all us, you know, Atlanta was a small community. Yeah. All the rappers, you know, we just hung out together. But that was my homegirl, man, you know. Uh, did they ever find out how she died? Some, it's, people say drugs. Some people, we, these is all alleged, you know. Everybody say fitting all on everything that happened now. So even Big Scar, RIP to him too, who died three mm -hmm. weeks before she died. Like yeah. this is this this stuff is ripping through our communities, man. If that be the case, because yeah. I don't, you know, I don't really mess around or nothing, but I just hate to see it. But it's a different world than where we come from. But you know, that's why I don't do drugs, man. Because I don't want a nigga to. My biggest fear is a nigga give me some bad drugs. That's what I be saying. You know what I'm saying? So if I wanted to do some cocaine, or I wanted to shoot some cocaine, or shoot some heroin, and it's got some crazy stuff in it, I can die. That's so right. So these guys are not chemists, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand how chemistry works. So, you know, you putting your hands in someone who don't have the skill set to actually administer drugs, you know, and uh, I think that a lot of our young people, man, you know, they got a lot of trauma, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder, and they just trying to escape, you know, and people go through, some, you know, mental illness is real. It's a lot of mental illness in our community. You know, if an army man go to Iraq or he go to, say, uh, Afghanistan or somewhere where they have war at, he come back, he needs some type of special treatment. They got to give him counseling. What about the brothers and sisters that, you know, seeing these people get ripped with these uh, uh, Dracos and these, uh, these hunting? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.